Zooplankton are the smallest animals in our oceans. And we mean small. Some start small and stay small. Others are microscopic larvae that will someday turn into bigger animals, like crabs, octopi, and jellyfish. Zooplankton feed on microscopic plants known as phytoplankton and each other. Together they form the base of the marine food web. From sardines and salmon to sea lions and orcas, all the animals in our ocean owe their lives to zooplankton. But our oceans are changing. More than a quarter of the carbon dioxide created by humans ends up in the ocean, making it more acidic and lower in oxygen as the climate changes. And agricultural and industrial runoff can cause oxygen levels to drop further. So what does the future look like for ocean life? If zooplankton move to or hide in different areas in response to low oxygen, high acidity layers of water, then those who eat them have to follow them, if they can, or suffer the effects. The impact of this disruption in movement patterns can ripple all the way up the food web, and it may have serious consequences for which predators, including humans, are able to hunt and where. As our oceans keep changing, these consequences may grow. That's why UW researchers are trying to learn more about how, where, and why zooplankton move one microscopic animal at a time.